Good day and welcome to Diksha. My name is Omkar and today's topic, the new God. So God is a worldwide concept commonly accepted by all cultures. All religious beliefs agree that there is a higher power called God. And today we are going to look at what God does for us. And I'm going to introduce you to the new God. Or well, rather, we already know the new God, but I'll introduce you to the concept of the new God. So let's go to our, to our board. <clears throat> so traditionally speaking, or according to the traditions, we have God. If we have God, we can find happiness. in this life and the next right we will always be provided with the necessities of life oh. we will be if we have devotion to God, we will have um, all material needs fulfilled. If we have God, God can cure disease. What else can God do? Happiness, material needs fulfilled, cure disease. God provides ease of mind. Or hope. And last but not least on my short list, I'm sure there are many other reasons, many other things we cannot do without God. I don't want to go into too long a list, I just want to make a point. We cannot live without God. We need God to live. So we need God to live. So, shortless, we need God in order to be happy. We need God to provide all material needs. We need God to cure disease. We need your God to provide ease of mind or hope, in case we don't have any of these things. And we need God to live or to survive. Now, in our modern societies, all over the world, we no longer need God for these things. We have a new God. Called money. Because a lot of people need money for happiness. A lot of people need money to have their material needs fulfilled need money to cure disease, need money to provide ease of mind, or hope, and a lot of people believe that they need money to live or to survive. So, the old God has died and a new God is money. So, that's my short presentation for today. My name is Omkar, thanking you for joining me on Diksha, and I'll see you next time.